Um, General Petraeus, yesterday at Harvard and in your testimony today, you seem to feel the need to prepare Americans for the next 12 to 18 months as we transition from Iraq to Afghanistan. You have mentioned the issues in Pakistan, um, the Somali pirates, Iran, uh, other elements uh, in the region. Um, can you lay out what our objectives are and what Americans can expect in the next 12 to 18 months, uh, particularly in Afghanistan, and, and if we're successful with this surge of troops, um, what are the opportunities that, that we might see there in terms of longer-term security uh, if we're successful, when we're successful? Uh, Congressman, our foremost objective uh, in Afghanistan is to ensure that uh, transnational extremists are not able to reestablish the kinds of bases and safe havens that they had uh, and from which th they were able to conduct the 9-11 attacks. Uh, that is obviously a vital natural interest uh, for us that was highlighted uh, very clearly in the President's uh, explanation of the strategy for Afghanistan and Pakistan. Uh, and again, it is imperative that we ensure that conditions not return to the uh, the way that they were, where where again transnational extremists were able to uh, establish that kind of presence, training camps, uh, essentially the global headquarters, if you will, for that uh, particular movement. Uh, Clearly, the security situation has deteriorated in Afghanistan over the course of the last two years, uh, particularly in certain areas of the Pashtun insurgency, the Pashtun belt uh, in eastern and, and especially southern Afghanistan. Um, and it is important that we stabilize those areas, that we arrest the downward spiral of uh, security, uh, and indeed then roll back in some respects and improve the security uh, for the Afghan people uh, so that the other progress, and there has been considerably, uh, a considerably great amount of other progress, whether it's in telecommunications, again, road construction, access to health care, spread of education, uh, you name it. Uh, but that in many areas of this particular Pashtun insurgency has been challenged uh, and or reversed. Uh, to do that, we are obviously deploying additional forces. Uh, we are accelerating the development of the Afghan National Army and its expansion. There will be an increase in the police forces, uh, and there is an increase in the NATO uh, security forces as well, uh, especially for the upcoming elections uh, that will be held on 20 August. Uh, as all of these forces uh, are brought to bear uh, on this problem and on this situation, they are going to have to take away from uh, the Taliban take away from the extremist syndicate in the East uh, safe havens and sanctuaries that have been established in some cases in league with the illegal narcotic in, uh, uh, narcotics industry and, and traffickers. Uh, and as in Iraq, uh, with the surge, when we deployed additional forces and those forces began uh, fighting to take back those sanctuaries and safe havens that al-Qaeda in Iraq and some of the uh, militia extremists had established, they will fight back. And so there are, this will be a tough road that lies ahead, uh, but it is also a vitally important road that lies ahead. Mr. Chairman, I'll come back during the next round. I don't want to exceed my five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Well, Mr. Farr?